Hello everyone. Welcome to the video lectures of Nano Electronics. So today's topic is density of states or DOS. This topic is very very important. Okay. We can start the session. So from the title there are two words density and states. Density this means something to do per unit volume. Then states state is an allowed solution which satisfies certain conditions. There is boundary conditions. Here we are referring to the density of states in semiconductors, which is rho of k, or in terms of energy rho of e, rho of k dk. That is the number of allowed states between k and k plus dk per unit volume of the material, where k is the vector space. Similarly, rho of e dE, that is the number of allowed states between e and e plus dE. per unit volume of the material now we can draw the ek diagram so this is energy capital e and these are the allowed energy levels okay k is the vector space distance and we can see for every given value of k there is corresponding value of e here is k and there is corresponding e energy level next step be k plus dk then Correspondingly, we will have e plus d. The number of states between k and k plus d k are here, and these are the allowed energy states or allowed solutions as a function of k vector space k. The number of states means number of points we get between k and k plus d k, and they are same as the number of points between e and e plus d. Please note the point. Therefore, rho of k d k will be equal to rho of e d. From the E K diagram, this corresponds to the valence band, and this corresponds to the conduction band. This is the minimum conduction band energy level, that is E C, and this is the maximum valence band energy level E V, and this is the energy band gap E G. Then. the number of carriers available in the conduction band and holes in the valence band is of the order of about 10 to the power of 15 per cc so these electrons and holes will occupy the bottom portion of the band in the conduction band and valence band respectively since the carriers are so small that they will always tend to remain near the bottom even you have a hot electron that is highly energized electron it will come down by the phenomenon called thermalization that is it will lose energy as thermal radiation and come back to the bottom of the band so the point is that in order to study or analyze most of the semiconductor device characteristics you need to know the carrier level variations at the bottom of bands because almost all the electrons and holes are accumulated near the bottom of conduction band and valence band that is near to the ec minimum and ev maximum and one more at the bottom the variation here is nearly parabolic and we use parabolic approximation of the band then in the conduction band the energy of electron in the conduction band is that is e is equal to ec plus kinetic energy and kinetic energy is p square divided by 2m as p that is the momentum that is equal to h cross into k then kinetic energy will be h cross square multiplied with k square divided by 2m and where m is the effective mass of electron so the energy of electron in the conduction band is e is equal to ec plus h cross square multiplied with k square divided by 2mc and mc is the effective mass of electron in the conduction band so the energy e of electron is proportional to k square so this is equivalent to the basic equation of a parabola that is phi is equal to x square like that and this is called the parabolic approximation just like that for the valence band energy e is equal to ev minus that is bottom side ev minus h cross square multiplied with k square divided by 2 mv here mv is the effective mass of holes in the valence band again it's parabolic approximation 
because it is varies as k square. We will use this parabolic approximation in deriving the density of states. Okay, we can conclude this session. So the definition of density of states is the number of quantum states available per unit energy interval per unit volume. We can also calculate the density of states of 1, 2 and 3 dimensions. In the coming sessions, we will see the derivation part of density of states and energy dependence and dimensionality. Okay, thank you.